Hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here, Tropical Point Party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I'm great. Just sitting here enjoying my pretty rainbow succulent arrangement. Didn't see that? That video came out a few videos prior to this one. Maybe two. I don't know. Already been going with things this week. Haven't done a ton of vlogging, but I tried to record some things. Actually had someone helping me doing yard work, so vlogging it would have been awkward, but I went ahead and started to get things cleaned up. The pool box broke, like the deck box you, you store things in behind my tiki bar, so got all that stuff cleaned up. And then I had a bunch of live rock on my patio from my saltwater fish tank that I recently turned back into a freshwater tank. And I went ahead and used that to edge the garden, and then I cleaned off the tables, brought some cushions out, and you know, just all that sort of stuff. I'll have clips in here. Who knows how well that's going to edit together. But I don't know. Now, my plan for today was actually I wanted to go to a nursery, but it's storming, like, really heavily. They said we're going to get anywhere from like two to three inches in the next day. Flooding could be an issue possibly, I don't know. Uh, but then I remembered that one of the nurseries I like to go to is a greenhouse. It's all covered, so I don't know. I'm going to take a look outside, look at the weather, and if it seems safe enough to go out in, which it probably is, then I can go there because it's indoors. That doesn't really matter, right? Except for the part where you have to go out to the car and put everything away. Yeah, that might suck. But otherwise, it'll be fun. Let's go do that. Maybe. Eh, that doesn't look too bad. And I took the mule palms outside. The lows are like in the high 30s from here and on, so they should be fine. Yeah, it's not raining that hard. I'll check the radar and make sure there's nothing severe coming in, but but I think I'm gonna just do it. Let's go. It's still early. There wasn't a ton of stuff in there. But, uh, I mean, it was actually pretty full, but it's a greenhouse. The plants are still fairly small. And the way I see it, I may as well wait a couple weeks and let them grow the plants bigger for me. But uh, the main reason I wanted to go was, well, there were two reasons. I wanted to see what the selection of the sun patients was going to be this year. And last year I got those, um, what were they? Were they not sensation? Why do I not remember? I did a video on them. The passion flowers, the scent heaven, I don't remember if it was, it's not sensation, that's a lavender. No, that's heaven scents lavender. I can't remember, but it was a cross between, I think, Pest Floor and Carnata and another one. It was just a really good smelling passion flower. And I was hoping that they might have those this year, but nope, they just had the regular Incarnatas and the Cerulias, so that's okay. I just wanted to figure it out so I know whether or not I need to order them or maybe just get on and take some cuttings of my own, though I think it's a little bit late for that, but you know, we will see. Uh, and I picked up a few impatience. It's too early to put them outside, but they were a very pretty variety I haven't seen before from Proven Winners. Like, they're gorgeous. I'll show them to you. And a tiny little cordelin that I thought was kind of pricey for how big it is, but it was really pretty. So I, I got it anyways, and it's just a lot. There's a lot of neon pink happening in the back of the car right now. And, uh, yeah, I'll, sh I'll show you all that in a minute when I get home. You want to see what happens when my parents see the tortoise? Yeah, they hate him. Oh, and here's one of the plants I picked up at the nursery. This is the Coeur d'Alene uh, Pink Passion. And it's very pink and pretty. Okay, so today's a busy day for me. I need to water the plants, but first, I've got my doors open, garage doors open. I'm trying to bring the temperature down a smidge. I like to drop the temperature before I water, particularly before I water the orchids. I don't drop it very much, just a little because that's what happens in nature. Temperatures drop a little bit before the storms fall and while the storms come. So doing that, and uh, I'm gonna probably give that 20 or 30 minutes. And while that's happening, I need to go outside and get some work done outdoors. Tomorrow, the people come and pick up the yard waste. So I need to get going and get some stuff done. Gonna t try and pull up some leaves, throw away dead plants from last year like i got a whole bunch of tropicals on clearance last year if you've been watching this channel for a while you know what i'm talking about like a bunch of hibiscus and things for like a buck i didn't bother bringing those in here because it just i didn't have enough room so i'm only you know saving the things that cost me a lot of money so yeah i need to go and do all that start tidying and the pool's all opened up and looking better water's a little cloudy still but yeah let's go outside and have a look at things um, 
It just started raining. It wasn't supposed to rain today. It rained all day yesterday. I got nothing done in the yard. How hard is it raining? Eh, I can do some stuff, but I'm not really going to be able to have it on camera because then my camera is going to get wet. Well, another day of rain. Starting to get a little bit of cabin fever. This is not showing up on camera. It's not much to see. It's just feeding the fish. But yeah, it it just it won't it won't stop raining. But I did just remember something I need to do, particularly before I water. I was going to water yesterday, and something more fun came up, so I didn't. Because the plants like they didn't need it immediately, but they need it today. I have this entire succulent shelf here. Some of the succulents are elsewhere. I need to put back over here. But when I water, the spray comes through and gets down in there and they don't like it. Obviously, they're succulents. I, I really avoid watering them at all costs. So, I, so I'm i just going to take some of this leftover plastic and put it around there. I had thought about doing something fancy like using an extra... I have an extra one of these zippers and putting that on here so I could zip the plastic on and off. Honestly, that doesn't seem necessary. <laughs> I think I'm just going to duct tape this to the upper table. That was pretty easy. I didn't need to go overboard with this. And now that I have this outlet protected, which protects the light, so I don't have to worry about getting water sprayed into those. Awesome. Okay. Now I'm going to feed the fish, let them fill up on some food, soak the orchids, water the plants. Okay, you probably can't tell, but all my lights are out. Apparently the plastic was no match for the stream of water. So, uh, yeah. Power's out, except for these overhead lights. Those are attached to a different breaker. So I went ahead and unplugged those and go flip the breaker. You know, nothing can just be easy. What happened here? Hi. Hi. What you doing? What you doing? What you, what you doing? Oh, you guess thing. Here we go. Pull another one. Okay, and another one. Is anything tripped? No, I think it's actually this guy right here. Come on out. Reset. Test. Reset. All right, that should have done the trick. Let's go see. Okay, <laughs> pretty sure I just I just walked away, and then I think I heard it click again. Yep. All right, so I must have unplugged the wrong thing. Hey, there we go. Much better. Those are still off. I had to unplug and mess with some stuff because apparently when we were down in the basement and I flipped the breaker back on, the hose popped out and flooded the floor, including a space heater that I unplugged. I always unplug these things before I get started watering just to be safe, but uh, it still got into the end of the extension cord, so... Everything's fine. Just a waiting game now because I have to let things dry out so I can get the filter plugged back in. But as long as this is running and the water's circulating, it's okay. And I actually haven't finished watering yet, so I need to do that and then get on to the other things. Done watering. This is refilling. All the fans and everything are running. It's very loud in here and that pump is quite loud with the water level being low. And this pack of stackies is driving me crazy because I keep bumping into it. And you're supposed to give these a winter prune. I just didn't, I don't know why I just didn't because it, it kept flowering and I was like, it's so pretty. I wanted the color, but it's time to go ahead and cut this back. I need to go to Lowe's and get a, like a tub with a clear lid on it and whatnot. I also need a couple more grow bulbs. I need a carbon pad for the filter over here. I need to backwash that filter. Uh, and change out its pad. So I have to go to Lowe's, Petco, and a few other places. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now while things have a chance to settle, give them some time to, give everything some time to dry off. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the water off because I don't want that filling while I'm gone. That's not safe. And uh, yeah, hit the road. Okay, made it to Petco. Need to remember I need koi food, coconut core, and a filter pad. I don't know why I'm doing this here. I'm not, I'm not going to rewatch this to remember what I need, but I could. So maybe this was a good idea. I don't know. <sighs> well, that was quick and easy. All right, let's go to Lowe's. Okay, 
Okay, finally made it. I said finally, it was only like a two minute long drive. Okay, out of there. There we go. All right, it is raining. It is kind of chilly, it's okay. Nothing's gonna keep me from going through the garden department. I still have to see what they have. These are so pretty. Holy crap. Mm, they only have one type of toe with a quarrel head. And that's it. Gonna have to make it work. Ooh. I don't know what I need this for, but I feel like it'd be fun to put wheels on something another time. Done running errands. Now I need to cut this pack of stackies back because like I said, it's driving me crazy. I keep bumping into it. It's annoying. Now, this is gonna seem rather drastic, but usually you can cut a third to two thirds off the plant and it'll be just fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and go on in and make my cuts. Okay, and there we go. This is going to leave an ample amount to take cuttings from. I finally got this refilled. Looking much better. I adjusted the waterfall. So it's partially going through the humidity table and partially not. Lots of movement and oxygen happening. And I realized it's the end of the month. And I said I'd do a, like a garden tour at the end of every month. There isn't really that much to show. Not that much has changed, but we can go through and look at a few little things. For starters, have a really nice looking flower coming up here off of the Nepenthes. So it seems to be doing well and it's happy. That's always a plus. And there's a whole bunch of new growth over here on the Bulbophyllum. This is Bulbophyllum carnea, I believe. Or car... Caruncuna... Caruncicidiatum. That one. Yeah. Got one, two, three... Uh, thought there was more than that. Four. Five. Okay. We have five new growths coming up out of the Bulbophyllum, which is wonderful. And down here, got some nice flowers popping out of the Maxillaria tenifolia. I love those flowers. They're so cute. And they do smell nice. It's a mild scent, but it's very nice. Dendrobium over here, still blooming. Been blooming for a long time. Just same thing with the Vitalina. Looking nice. Lots of flowers there. Still going strong. A bunch of new growth popping out on the Crotons, which is excellent. Now, that green foliage is how I know that they're not getting quite enough light, which is why I was just at Lowe's and got some more lights to get back there. Hopefully they'll penetrate that far. They probably won't, but they'll be outside in about a month from now and the natural light will help color those leaves up. So that's all right. I'm just happy that they're growing and they're not dead. The Acalfa's got some fun flowers popping out on it. And up here, the Monstera Deliciosa Variegata has a new leaf that popped open. That's always exciting because this thing grows like a snail. It's also winter, so I can't really fault it too much for that. Lots and lots and lots of healthy root tips coming out of the Vandas. Ton of new growth come out of this guy, and I cannot remember what it's called. Uh, the name escapes me at the moment, but it's a succulent from South Africa. This guy was practically dead, and I just threw it into this hanging basket. I was like, alright, you just you do you, we'll see what happens, and it seems to be happy. So that'll get repotted when things get warmer outside. Speaking of new growth, look at this guy. Look at that! Huge long spike coming out of this night blooming cactus here. I guess spike, that's an orchid term, isn't it? Well, I'm pretty sure, you know, that's just a new growth, but it's nice, long, and very happy. Same with the disso cactus up here. Lots of new growth, looking good. And the orchids are all doing okay. There's some foliage I need to do some pruning on, but there's a bunch of new growth coming out of them. No spikes in this section right now, but that's all right. There's some oncidiums that are spiking back there that I think I showed in the last tour. So they're all good. Things are really dark right now because it's really dark outside and the grow lights are still off, drying off from getting wet this morning. Oh, and up here, the Hernia Zebrina. Doing very well, still flowering. It's been flowering for months. It is very thirsty though. I've only watered this like two or three times this winter, so it's due for a, a good drink, but you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, and it's it's doing well. It's very happy. Perhaps a little bit too much light, and like I said, it needs some water to plump back out, but it's doing okay. 
Oh, and let's not forget about the vanilla. Got some new growth coming up here. Whole bunch of nice new aerial roots. It's actually doing, it's actually doing quite well. I haven't had to do much with it. Let me get out of the light there. I've just been keeping it slightly moist and allowing it to dry out here and there. I haven't been soaking it very heavily. I was worried that the soil was going to be too wet for it, but it's actually, it's working out well. It's retaining some moisture, but still drying out fairly fast. You kind of see some of those aerial roots that are popping out in there, but not really, and it doesn't want to focus. Go figure. All right, I do have to wrap this up though. I know this is a shorter vlog, but it just rained all week. There wasn't much I could do, so I'm sorry about that. But these will definitely be getting longer and uh, much more busy here in the next few weeks. It's supposed to be fairly cool here though for the next two weeks still, so still waiting on spring to get here, which it was warmer in February than it has been in March. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It helps the video so, so much, and I really do appreciate every single one of them. Subscribe as well, upload multiple times a week. I will link all my social media stuff down below in the roots of the video. You can follow me, I'll follow you back. We can look at each other's plant pictures and have fun, nerdy plant time together. And of course, as always, everybody, keep on growing.